I have the base model of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 right here. And today I'm going to show you how to boot this smartphone as well as all other devices in the Redmi Note 10 series to boot both into fast boot mode as well as how to boot out of fast boot mode. Whether this is something you booted into intentionally or is something the device did on its own, or maybe you did accidentally. So first I'm gonna show you how to boot into fastboot mode, because this is what a lot of us is gonna be using if we want to say, unlock the bootloader, or install a custom ROM or a custom kernel, something like that. Usually to boot into fastboot mode, also known as bootloader mode, we're gonna to need to get the phone into a powered off state so if you're able to boot into Android, we're just going to use the power menu and shut the phone down like normal. However, if your device is currently in a boot loop, then you may need to time when you do the button combination. So we're going to do the a power and volume down button combo here in a second. So if you've noticed that your device is currently rebooting over and over and over, you're going to want to wait until you see the phone and the screen turn black. That signals that the phone has restarted. And as soon as the phone restarts, you're going to hold down the two buttons. But again, we're just trying to get the phone into a powered down state so we can press and hold the power and the volume down buttons at the same time, just like you saw there. And after we hold that, those two buttons down for a few seconds, we're going to feel the phone vibrate. It's going to boot to that Redmi screen, but should fairly quickly boot over into the fast boot mode screen that you see here. So again, this is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro and Redmi Note 10 Pro Max fast boot mode screen. Again, it's also sometimes referred to as bootloader mode. And this is where we would then connect the phone to our PC with the USB cable, issue some fast boot commands, maybe open up the Xiaomi PC suite program or the Xiaomi unlock tool. Whatever you're needing fast boot mode for, you can go ahead and do that now. However, I know a lot of people are going to see this screen by accident. Sometimes they have just installed an over-the-air update that bugged out, and when it rebooted, it reboots to this screen. Maybe you were using the phone just in normal everyday use. The phone turned off sporadically, so all of a sudden, and then booted you up into this screen. I've seen a lot of comments detailing their experience and how they reached this specific screen. And many people do not get here on purpose. A lot of times this is done by accident. If you have found yourself at this uh, screen by accident, you're going to want to check a, a couple of things. First, make sure that you don't have a case that's pressing down on those two buttons that I just showed you. It's very easy for improperly made cases to press down on buttons. Or even maybe you just fat fingered, maybe your thumb or your finger pressed those two buttons when you were holding the phone uh, too strongly. No matter how you got to this screen, we are also able to boot the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 S out of fastboot mode and all of the other devices in this series out of fastboot mode by forcing the device to shut down and restart. It's a very common procedure. All we have to do is press and hold the power button for about 7 to 10, 10, 10 seconds. After that amount of time, you're going to see the phone turn off, just like that. And it's going to instantly turn back on, just like before. Now, assuming you don't have anything wrong with your Android install, that means assuming the operating system, Xiaomi's MIUI, has not bugged out, 
then you should be able to boot right back into Android just like I showed you. Just by pressing and holding the power button, forcing the device to restart, and again, assuming Android, the operating system, is in good shape, you will boot right back into Android. However, again, I've seen a lot of comments saying that when they reboot like that, they're booted right back into fastboot mode. If that's the case, then that's because your operating system is, again, it's bugged out somewhere. Something is preventing the phone from loading that software. This can be randomly sporadic, like I said, a, a corrupt uh, storage. Could be a bugged over-the-air update you just installed. Whatever that is, know that you're going to need to likely, unless you know exactly what caused it so you can undo that change, you're going to need to do a factory reset to get back into Android. Now that is rare that it's needed to happen. I haven't personally seen a phone reboot like that and wig out, but a lot of but it happens to a lot of people. So if that happens to you, you're either going to need to give up on the data you had on the phone and do a factory data reset to get back into Android. Or you're going to need to pay a professional data recovery service to get those pictures and videos and whatever else is important off that phone. But that wraps up the tutorial today. That is how to boot the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10, the Redmi Note 10 Pro, the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, and the Redmi Note 10 S all into fast boot mode as well as how to boot out of fast boot mode.